Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the Think Tank Photo Urban Disguise 40 Classic Camera Bag. Now, this is a slightly larger camera bag than the previous one I showed you, and it's really designed to either carry a mirrorless camera with lots of lenses and lots of accessories, or a DSLR and maybe one or two lenses and a couple of accessories. It's a combination of canvas material and genuine leather, and it's really well put together, very well constructed. So anyway, let's get on because I've got a lot to show you with this one. Now, first of all, if I just show you the front, this is a leather piece just here, and then this is the canvas. You can see the contrast between the two. We've also got sort of leather uh, pull tabs on the zips, and the zips are really nice, very, very smooth zips. Inside the front here, We've got various pockets and netting and another zipped pocket. And this is to keep all of your smaller accessories, things like batteries, memory cards, filters, etc. And then if we look here, this is a really cool buckle. I've not seen a buckle like this before. Instead of squeezing in on the side, you just push this back tab here and then we can open the buckle. And then we've got a combination of the buckle closure plus Velcro. Now this Velcro can be quite noisy. So if we look at this sort of front piece here, the flap, we've got these sound silencers. So what we can do is actually, if I undo this one and pull this up to cover the Velcro tab, and then if you're working in an environment where you don't want a noisy bag, now we've just got the buckle mechanism. So none of that Velcro is attaching. So I can just very quietly open the buckle and open the bag without making a noise. So if you're working in somewhere where you've got to be quiet, you can use this uh, sound silencer uh, Velcro piece up the top here. Very, very simple idea actually, but it works very well indeed. We've also got a little space here where we can put our name and address details. And then we've got a front pocket here, very large front pocket with a divider in the middle. So we can actually uh, have a divider in the middle and this can be used for some accessories. We've also got a little loop just on the side here. So if we want to tether something into the bag, maybe your keys or something, then you can do that as well. So let's just close this up and I'll show you the rest of the bag. And as I say, there's a lot to show you here. So if we look around on the side, we've got some really strong rings here. This is to attach a shoulder strap and it's the same on the other side. And if we go all the way around the back, we've got this uh, loop through here. This is so that we can attach this to our luggage if we're in an airport and you've got a trolley or something, we can just slide it onto the trolley. Uh, we've also got another zipped pocket here, which is very cool, big enough to put something like an iPad in if you want it in the outer pocket. And then we've got an actual uh, clip or enclosure here, which keeps the two top handles together. This is really good, because otherwise they're flopping about everywhere. So we can pull this pop stud open, and then that releases the two handles and then you can get into the middle sections of the bag. So not only does it keep the handles together, it also just gives you a little bit of extra security. Then if we look around on the actual zips, if we close this zip up fully, this zip has got a hole in it. So you can actually put a padlock through here and attach that padlock to the side ring if you wanted to, again for extra security. And the same with the two top zips, where they meet in the middle, the two holes line up. And again, you can put a padlock through here for extra security. So let's open up this section here. And you can see in here, we've got a dedicated pocket for an iPad. This will fit up to an iPad Air 2. And then we've got another padded pocket in the front. And again, this is a secure pocket. So if you've got your laptop in there, for example, or your iPad, you know that that can be secured. And then we've got the main section of the bag just here. And if we open this up, we've actually got the shoulder strap, which has got some really decent padding on it. Very, very good indeed. And then inside, we've got loads of different organizational uh, dividers. So we can really divide this up. We even get a pack of extra dividers. Look at how many you get inside here. So this can be used to divide the bag up into multiple uh, sections to organize your lenses and your camera body. We've also got another Velcro pocket in here as well, right at the back, so you can slip something in there if you so wish. And as with most of the Think Tank Photo Urban range, we get a waterproof cover. So if it does rain, you can take this cover out and use it to cover the complete bag to keep everything nice and dry. 
I think this is a really cool bag. It's very well constructed. It feels like it's gonna last for a long, long time. So if you're looking for something to carry a lot of gear around, maybe you're traveling as well, this is certainly something to consider. This is the Think Tank Photo Disguise 40 Classic. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. And as always, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'll see you in another video very soon.